Okay, we're still on same day, <laughs> different video. Um, I do want to know your opinion about the music, so leave me some comments. I just did um, my last version of uh, The Girl from Ipanina. I think that's the best I'm going to be able to do for a while until I keep practicing and practicing and, you know, maybe bring it out at another time. But just was sort of a favorite of mine, sort of a nostalgic thing and reminded me of other times. And so it was kind of fun to do for me. Um, and I wanted to share it with you. Um, so anyway, um, let me know what you think about the music thing. Okay. Uh, should I continue or not? Where we left off is a Second Chronicles chapter 24, verse 23. And I'm going to continue uh, with that. Um, so, it came to pass at the end of the year that the hosts of Syria came up against him, and they came to Judah and Jerusalem and destroyed all the princes of the people from among the people, and sent all the spoil of them to the king of Damascus. I mean, doesn't it just seem like this has been going on for a long time? We're still, you know, Damascus is going to be utterly destroyed. Syria is still causing problems. We've still got some crazy person in charge of Syria, you know, and just, it just, you know, man. Cannot wait for the Lord to come back again. Hallelujah. What a glorious day that's going to be. Okay. Um, where am I? So, for the army of Syrians came with a small company of men, and the Lord delivered a very great host into their hand, because they had forsaken the Lord God of their fathers. So they executed judgment against Joash. And where, when they were departed from him, for they left him in great diseases. His own servants conspired against him for the blood of the sons of Jeho Jehoiada, the priest, and slew him in his bed, and he died. And they buried him in the city of David, but they didn't bury him with the sepulchres of the kings. So these are they that conspired against him. Zabad, the son of Shimonath, and Ammonitus, Jehozabad, the son of Simarath of a Moabitess. Now concerning his sons and the greatness of the burdens laid upon him and the repairing of the house of God, behold, they are written in the glory of the book of the kings. And Amaziah, the son, reigned in his stead. Chapter 25. Oh, God, my legs have been giving me really bad cramps for like days now just below my knees my legs have been cramping cramping you know doing this new diet thing and I tried the pickle juice sort of kind of worked it's not really working I'm having a hard time sleeping um if you guys have any ideas other than you know sugar laden Gatorade um I don't know why I'm just having such problems with them um could try the jacuzzi or something. Anyway, um, sorry, I just my, my leg cramped up, so it kind of distracted. Um, little sly slucker, you know. I was trying to interrupt um, the reading of God's word. Okay, chapter twenty-five. So Amaziah begins to reign well, having hired an army of Israelites against the Edomites. The word of the prophet he loses a hundred talents and dismisses them. He overthrows the Edomites and provokes Joash to his overthrow. So Amazah was 25 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 20 and nine years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jehoadan of Jerusalem, and he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a perfect heart. And it came to pass that when his kingdom was established to him, that he slew his servants that had killed the king his father. But he slew not their children, but did it as written in the law of the book of Moses, 
where the Lord commanded, saying, The father shall not die for the children, neither shall the children die for the father, fathers, but every man shall die for his own sin. Moreover, Amazah gathered Judah together and made them captains over the thousands and captains over hundreds, according to the houses of their fathers, throughout all Judah and Benjamin. And he numbered them from twenty years old above, and found them three hundred thousand choice men, of, able to go forth to war, that could handle spear and shield. And he hired also a hundred thousand mighty men of valor, out of the Israel for a hundred talents of silver. But there came a man of God to him, saying, O king, let not the army of Israel go with thee, for the Lord is not with Israel, to wit, with all the children of Ephraim. But if thou wilt go, do it, be strong for the battle. God shall make thee fall before the enemy, for God hath power to help and to cast down. And Amazah, Amazah said to the man of God, But what shall we do for the hundred talents which I have given to the army of Israel? And the man of God answered, The Lord is able to give thee much more than this. Then Amazah separated them to wit, the army that was come to him out of Ephraim, to go home again. Wherefore their anger was greatly kindled against Judah, and they returned home in great anger. And Amazah strengthened himself and led forth his people, went to the valley of salt, smote the children of Sire, ten thousand. Another 10,000 left alive did the children of Judah carry away captive and brought them into the top of the rock, cast them down from top of the rock, that they are all broken into pieces. But the soldiers of the army which Amazah sent back, that they should not go with him to battle, fell upon the, chil the cities of Judah from Samaria, even unto Bethoron, and smote three thousand of them, and took much spoil. Now it came to pass after that Amazah had come from slaughter of the Edomites, and he brought the gods of the children of Seir, S-E-I-R, and set them up to be his gods, and bowed down himself before them, and burnt incense unto them. just thinking of the song about how God forgives as much as the drops in the ocean with the grace that he has you know very slow to anger slow to anyway I just that just came into my head wherefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against Amazah and he sent unto him a prophet which he said unto him, Why hast thou sought after the gods of the people, which could not deliver their own people out of thine hand? And it came to pass, as he talked with him, that the king said unto him, Art thou made of the king's counsel? Forbear. Why shouldest thou be smitten? Then the prophet forbear, and said, I know that God hath determined to destroy thee, because thou hast done this, and hast now not hearkened unto my counsel. Then Amazah, the king of Judah, took advice and sent to Joash, the son of Jehoahazah, the son of Jehu, king of Israel, saying, Come, let us see one another in the face. <laughs> Let's see each other face to face. Okay. And Joash, king of Israel, sent to Amazah, king of Judah, saying, The thistle that was in Lebanon sent to the cedar that was in Lebanon, saying, Give thy daughter to my son to wife. And there passed by a wild beast that was in Lebanon and trod down the thistle. Thou sayest, Lo, thou hast smitten Edomites, and thine heart lifted, up, lifted thee up to boast. Abide now at home. Why shouldest thou meddle? 
in thine hurt, and thou shouldest fall even thou, and Judah went with thee. And Amazahah would not hear, for it came to God that he might deliver them to the hand of their enemies, because they sought after the gods of Edom. So Joash the king of Israel went up, they saw one another in the face, both he and Amazahah king of Judah, at Beth Shemesh, which was belonging to Judah. And Judah was put to the worst before Israel, and they fled every man to his tent. And Joash the king of Israel took Amazahah king of Judah, the son of Joash, the son of Jehoazah at Beth Sheba, Beth, uh, sorry, Beth Shemesh, and, and brought him in Jerusalem and broke down the wall of Jerusalem from the gate of, the, of Ephraim to the corner gate 400 cubits. And he took all the gold and silver and all the vessels that were found in the house of God with Obededim and the treasure of the king's house in hostages and also returned to uh, Samaria. And Amazahah, the son of Joash, king of Judah, lived after the death of Joash, son of Jehoazaz, king of Israel, 15 years. And the rest of the acts of the Amazahah, first and last, behold, are they not written in the book of the king of Judah, and it, of, and, book of kings of Judah and Israel? Now after the time that Amazahah did return away from the following of the Lord, they made a conspiracy against him in Jerusalem, and he fled to Lachish, and they sent to Lachish after him and slew him there. And they brought him up horses and buried him with his fathers in the city of Judah. And I'm going to stop there, to start with chapter 26. Next time I see you, and I wish it was sooner than later, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I hope to hear from you. Um, have a great weekend. Probably won't. You guys will be all busy and everything, so I understand. Um, but anyway, the reading is there for you to listen to when you can get to it. And uh, God's blessings to, to you all. And uh, peace out, as they say. Okay. <laughs>